Hello, Johan. Here we are again. Hello, Dr. Here we got to get at it. Historical days indeed these days. Um, so, um, <laughs> what do we do now? Now that, What is this? Is this peace? Does this mean that we're going to have um, uh, the threat of a third world war, which has been linked with uh, the uh, um, confrontational tone that we've come to experience and come to know over the past decades between the United States of America, Israel on one hand and Iran on the other side, have all of this now subsided? The sanctions are lifted? <laughs> well, look, I think you have to go a little bit deeper than that. Uh, I mean, there has been talk in that direction, but let us first make uh, one point clear. Iran has a relation to the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, which just concluded um, it's summit meeting number 25 or something like that. I think they meet annually in Russia. And um, I don't think that anybody would contemplate attacking Iran without being very much afraid that it might invoke the whole Shanghai Cooperation Organization. Could you say a little bit, um, could you tell our viewers more? Because I, I have the experience that not everybody knows what that is. Well, I mean, the Western media are not reporting about that, and they are hardly reporting about BRICS. They also had a summit meeting in Russia right now, and the meetings came to a number of very important conclusions. Well, the Shanghai Cooperation Organization has six basic members, Russia, China, and four of the Central Asian former Soviet republics. Stans, there are five of them, Turkmenistan is not in it. Uh, the point is that it is a kind of combination of just cooperation, economic cooperation organization, <coughs> and a military alliance. Then they have observers and dialogue partners. And um, what they concluded now was that Pakistan, and it looks also like India, have been elevated to full membership from observer status. I see. And a number of countries have been elevated from dialogue partners to observers, and then other countries have been admitted to dialogue states. Now, this is a big organization, a big organization. So I'm, it's much bigger than NATO, involving much, many more people, many more states, uh, potentially, not yet, but you know, the two biggest countries in terms of territory and in terms of population are the two central powers. So having said that, I um, can understand that what Israel would like to see would not to be to take a risk itself, but try to see if United States could attack. And I don't think United States is very eager to do that, to put it mildly. And as we see now, it actually has done everything it could to uh, lift the sanctions and to move the, the uh, tug um, towards a, di a direction or a result um, with mutual benefits, I would say, for Iran and for the United States? Well, uh, I don't know. I don't know to what extent the sanctions are really lifted. They are talking about five years. Yeah. They are talking about a gradual process. And as Obama said um, a couple of hours ago, if there is any proof of any kind of um, breaking the treaty, the sanctions will, to quote Obama, snap back again immediately. And he also says uh, the whole arrangement is not based on trust, but on verification. Well, our experience with that kind of treaties is not very good. See. 